Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Aaron and welcome back to another Red Zone video, which we haven't done in a really long time because I've just been brain dead about ideas. But now, here we go with something crazy behind me and it's moving constantly. So what is it? It's a clock, but not any clock. It's a clock that's the part is the reset. But we'll, we'll get... We'll do that later. I just wanted to put it up here so that you, you could cover it up, and that's why this is. It's all here. I could have made it really a lot shorter just by putting a lever here, but you know. So this is actually good for um, a couple things, like maps or games that you're playing, that you uh, go and tell the, the end, which is, hold on, I'm so used to hitting the zoom. Wait, am I even recording? I am, okay. So, so these hoppers, you can test if they're empty or something. Uh, just by using the going off of these. Uh, so here is the whole thing. So what is happening is, as you can see, when this one right here empties, this piston pulls this, like jerks it back because this one fills is filled up and then it starts filling up this one again. So that happens, and this is just something just to power it. So you could put this anywhere. It doesn't actually have to be right here. It could be literally anywhere as long as it's powering this block. And I just did it here because you got a power source from the comparator, and it's really nice. So, so th what's going on is that it goes these happen and then this is actually powering this when this gets jerked back this takes one single block and puts it into here now when that happens this gets a gets one of the blocks that are in here now it's usually only does one but i was fiddling around with it and testing things so basically this uh you'll never see one in here never because this, because uh, when this shoots it out, it's actually blunt powered by uh, this redstone. So it goes bam all the way over here. And it shoot, oh, it, it goes, it's not blunt powered, I'm sorry. Um, it, it, pow it gets powered by this block. You can change that if you want by just going like this. But we don't do that around here. So, so that, uh, that goes that shoots that one, putting it into this one, and this is where it all uh, comes. And this does increase in speed very quickly. So if we just watch, you see how fast it went over there compared to when we started the video. So, oh shoot, I didn't realize F1 does this. That's an extreme zoom too. So. This is how we do it. We do it, and I'm going to show you how to how to build it. So here we go. So let me get my materials and see if the pause button works this time. It does not. But okay. So you're going to need an observer, dropper, piston, redstone, building blocks, comparators, hoppers, piston. Oh, I already said piston. Redstone block. Uh, that's just to show you how fast it is right there. Uh, that's really all that is here for. And a... Is it a regular piston that I'm looking for? Uh, no, it's actually, I think I got everything. Also, can somebody tell me... I didn't even notice this. That walls are the same width of a head. Did not know that. Big fart. Also, I'm in 1.17, uh, so this is a 1.17 thing, but I'm pretty sure it's 1.16. Uh, it's 1.17 because I wanted to use the skull sensors, so. 
I mean, I have the mod, so if I just type in uh, skulk, it's here, but I have the uh, mod, the mod version. Anyway, here's how we do it. So first, we're going to have to build up the actual clock itself. So you're going to put hopper, hoppers facing into one another with a comparator on either side. Comparator, comparator, like so. Then you're going to put it into a block with a block down like this on each side as well. And then up, up here like this, you're going to put redstone dust like that and like that. Then piston on each face, oh, up like this and a redstone block. So this creates your thing and you can put as many things in here as possible. The more you put in, the slower it will uh, speed up and the slower your clock will be. Now, next, we're, we're going to do this uh, other part, which piston, redstone, I mean, piston and block. And here is a, and then a redstone uh, set to three or four ticks. It's your choice. Now, uh, we're, we're going to need a drop a dropper on top of this block with a dropper facing up that's on the face of this. Then you're going to need a hopper that's going into this first one. And that's that part. And now you're going to need a hopper that goes into here. Easy peasy. Now if you want to start, start the thing up already, you would put it in there. But, as you can see, it's in there. So another thing that you also need to figure, uh, look at is, I forgot this, I'm sorry. It's been a little while, but you need to put some glass here. And since tinted glass looks so nice and lo looks nice and black and all that, I'm gonna use it. So you need a transparent block right here and a normal block right there. Sorry about that, I forgot. It's been a while. So let's just go ahead and put a stack into here. So uh, it should have put a bunch of stuff in here, but a lot of it should have went in here. Okay, now if you, now the reset system. This is if you want it above, but honestly, all I did was this, a uh, an observer clock. That's all it is. And I thought I always think observer clocks are e the easiest clocks you could make. Uh, but yeah, so th there you go. Uh, if you want to make the one that I made over there, it's super duper simple. It's just a block uh, on top of that, like that, and then a any kind of piston right there. And then this is your infinite clock, uh, or not infinite clock, your uh, clock that's slowly dying. Maybe it's uh, the new uh, Hermitcraft, uh, the button. This could be. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I really, really am thankful for uh, 146 subscribers, I really am. I honestly don't know how to like say thank you, but you know, it do be like that sometimes.